Hey everyone, my name is Dipankar and I'm a developer advocate here at Dremio. Today I'm going to introduce you to three new features developed by Dremio for Apache Iceberg tables and basically show a demo of what you can do with those three commands. So let's go. So our first feature is called copying data into Apache Iceberg tables. So Dremio's new copy into SQL command makes it even easier and faster to ingest data into Apache Iceberg table. So with basically one single command, which is copy into, as you can see here, you can basically insert any data from CSV and JSON file format stored in file system like Amazon S3, ADLS, HDFS, and any other supported data sources directly into Apache Iceberg tables. And basically, if I have to show a demo, let's say in this particular case, I have a, a particular file called new orders, new data CSV in my data lake, which is my Amazon S3 bucket. So now if I go to Dremio, all I have to do is basically run this particular command, which says copy into this particular table uh, from this particular data lake location. So as of now, as you can see, this is my current table state, and this is what are the values that I have right now. So I'm going to basically run this command right now. So after this command is run, all I expect is basically have to have those new data records in my table directly in the iceberg table. Okay, so now if I, let's say run the select star, I should be able to see two additional values, which is basically what came from that particular file location that I had over here. Okay. The second feature is basically, it allows users to now restore Apache Iceberg table to a previous specific timestamp or a snapshot ID. Okay. And that is using the Dremio's new rollback command. So this makes it super easy to revert back a table to a previous state with a single command. So there might be situations when you might have some kind of a data incidence or something like that when you'd really like to go back to a previous state, you know, without really impacting anything else. So with Iceberg, in the best part is you can do all those things and just use the Dremio's new rule by command to do, to do that. So let's do that in action, right? So let's first try to understand the history of this particular table using a metadata table, which is called table history. So if I run this particular table, I can see that there are a couple of things that have happened in this particular table, um, you know, a lot of insertions and maybe a lot of um, you know, deletions or something like that. But here I can see the latest timestamp, which is current timestamp. And this is what I did with the new insertion of the new records, right? So what I would want like right now is to go back to a previous state, which is the state where I didn't have this two, two, new, two new records. So I'm going to use I, the timestamp in this case, but also you can use the snapshot ID from here and just put it into the you know, command instead of two timestamp, just say two snapshot. But here in this case, we are going to just use the timestamp, which is the previous timestamp. So now if I were on this particular command, I'm expecting the table to roll back to a previous state, which is when I didn't have those two new records, right? So let's give it a couple of minutes and you know, it's probably a few more seconds and then I should have that table roll back. I should also get a message from Dremio. Perfect, so this is the table rollback message that I got from Dremio. So now if I try to understand uh, you know, the records that are there, this is what basically I have. So those two new records are gone right now. And all I have is the table in a previous form when I didn't insert anything from this particular copy into command. Our third and final feature is regarding optimizing Apache Iceberg table. So when you use a lot of data manipulation command like inserts and updates and deletes for Apache Iceberg table, you will basically end up with a lot of mutations and a lot of extra files in the table, right? So often this is a scenario where you see with streaming data, right? When you have a lot of streaming data and you kind of insert those data in chunks, you will end up with the small file problem. So this can really impact the read and the write performance on the table. And also you will end up with a lot of excess storage, right? So to improve the performance on iceberg table, users can now basically use the optimize command, which I'm going to demo in a quick minute, uh, to basically com compact this file and run a compaction algorithm to basically have an optimal size file. So here I have a table right here, as you can see, I have run this particular command uh, and I'm basically trying to understand the file size on my uh, iceberg environment. And as you can see, there are a couple of bigger files, but then there are also this, you know, five, six smaller files. So I want to basically, you know, optimize this table and, you know, make sure that this file get compacted into 50 megabytes. Okay. So to do that, this is the command I'm using, optimize table with that particular strategy, which has been packed and I'm targeting the 50 MB size. So let's run this command. And while we are expecting the command to run, now we should be able to compact those files into a more larger form, like I mentioned. And you know, if we give it a couple more seconds, I think we should have the results back from Dremio and. And as you can see, the rewritten data file count is now seven, right? So, so that means basically Dremio Sonar rewrote those files and compacted this file into smaller chunks. 
So now if I go and try to understand the file size in my environment using my metadata table, I can see that every file is basically compacted into a size that I would expect. So that is really the feature that I was discussing about. So that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, we basically discuss about three new features, which is uh, you know copying data using copy into uh, rollback feature using the rollback, and then optimizing the table using optimize command in Tremio. Thank you so much.